これは絶対に俺がやらなきゃダメなんだ。Zenitsu is walking through the castle when he hears a familiar voice behind a door. It's his old senior, Kai Gaku. He calls out for the demon to come out because he knows it's him. Kigaku doesn't like how Zenitsu is talking to him and says it's disrespectful to speak to his senior that way. Zenitsu replies that he doesn't see Kayagaku as his senior anymore because he's now a demon. Kayagaku mocks Zenitsu, saying he's still weak and asks if he's become a Hashira or he can use any other thunder breathing techniques besides the first form. Zenitsu calmly responds that Kigaku should be proud of being the weakest among the upper ranks, just filling an empty spot. Kayagaku, amused by Zenitsu's comment, laughs and notes that Zenitsu finally knows how to talk back. Zenitsu wants to know why Kayagaku became a demon, reminding him that he once cared deeply about mastering thunder breathing and becoming the next thunder Hashira. Zenitsu vents his anger, blaming Kayagaku for their master Jigoro's death. Saying that Jigoro took his own life because Kayagaku turned into a demon. Kayagaku shrugs it off, saying he only cares about people who see his worth, and then mocks Jigoro, calling him an old fool. Zenitsu is furious at this and says it's a shame for Jigoro to have to unworthy swordsmen as his successors. This comment enrages Kayagaku, who warns Zenitsu not to compare them. He then draws his sword and the battle begins. Kaigaku tries to strike Zenitsu with his enhanced demon powers using thunder breathing. Fourth form, distant thunder. But Zenitsu quickly dodges, slashing past Kaigaku's neck and calling him slow and worthless. Kaigaku realizes Zenitsu has become more skilled with his swordsmanship, but still believes Zenitsu can't beat someone of his rank. Don't go being all familiar and calling him Gramps! Who earned the highest title in the Demon Slayer core? Kaigaku had the unfortunate luck of encountering Kokushibo, and, upon witnessing the upper rank's immense power, kneeled before him and surrendered in order to save his own skin. Kokushibo offered the Demon Slayer a chance to become a demon and gave him a handful of Muzin's blood to intake. Believing if Muzin believes him to be worthy, he can join the Twelve Upper Moons, despite fear consuming his body. Kayagaku eventually obliged and drank the demon's blood, transforming him. Even in the short time he was a demon, Kayagaku had already eaten numerous people and eventually became powerful enough to take his position as the new upper rank 6 of the 12 upper moons. Then, Kayagaku slashes Zenitsu with thunder breathing, second form, rice spirit. Zenitsu comments that Kayagaku has lost his sense of right and wrong because he's consumed to many people, but Kayagaku arrogantly claims he knows exactly what he's doing. As Kayagaku uses thunder breathing, third form, thunder swarm, he declares that only those who accept him are right, and those who don't are wrong. He then follows with thunder breathing, fifth form, heat lightning, bragging about his enhanced demon powers. He explains how his attacks will cause Zenitsu's skin and flesh to burn and crack as he uses thunder breathing. Sixth form, rumble and flash. While falling, Zenitsu reflects on his difficult relationship with Kaigaku, realizing they could never get along. He jumps off a wall and unleashes his unique move, Thunder Breathing, 7th form, Hanoi Kazuchi no Kami. Kayagaku is defeated while falling, cursing Zenitsu as they fall together. As they fall, Zenitsu is saved by Yushiro, who mocks Kayagaku for dying alone. Kayagaku meets a sad end while Zenitsu is rescued. As Yushiro treats him, Zenitsu drifts off and finds himself in a dream where he meets Jigoro. Apologizing for not getting along with Kaigaku, Jigoro reassures him, saying, Zenitsu, you are my pride and joy. Zenitsu's encounter with Kaigaku in the castle shows just how much he has grown as a swordsman and as a person. Faced with a former senior who has lost his way, Zenitsu remains calm and resolute, standing up for what he believes is right. Despite Kaigaku's taunts and powerful attacks, Zenitsu's determination and skill shine through. The conflict is not just a battle of strength, but also a clash of values. Zenitsu choosing to honor his master's memory and principles while Kaigaku embraces a darker path. In the end, Zenitsu's victory is more than just a win in battle. 
It's a triumph of loyalty, growth, and a reaffirmation of his place as Jigoro's true successor. Guided by his master's words of encouragement in his dream, Zenitsu continues his journey, stronger and more confident than ever.